Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I got a couple slabs of these Compart Deer Ox Spare Ribs, and I'm going to show you my take on a Texas style rib today out on the smoker. For Texas ribs, you only need two things that's salt and pepper. It's all the season we're putting on these, but it's going to really make that flavor of these Compart ribs shine. Let's get started. So I've got the ribs out of the package. There's not much tripping with these Compart ribs, you know, the membrane's already off the backside. But if you're using any other ribs, go ahead and pull that membrane off and you can cut them down to St. Louis cut if you want. If you want to do whole spare ribs, this recipe will work for that too. What I love about these Compart ribs is you'll see the marbling that they have. And that's what makes them special, man. You know that marbling is fat and fat is flavor. And these have it through and through. And cooking on this um, Texas style way, simple seasoning, salt and pepper, it's only going to shine even better. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put that salt and pepper on these ribs. I'm gonna start on the back side here. And I'm using a ratio of two to one pepper to salt. So I've got a half a cup of pepper, quarter cup of salt, using a good uh, ground black pepper. You want it just under a uh, crack stage. You want a pretty coarse pepper. And then salt, you want a pretty coarse kosher salt works best. We're just gonna give these ribs a good coat on the back side, not putting anything on. Don't be scared to get it to them. Flip them over, get the meat side. And that's it for the seasoning on these ribs. I mean, how simple is that? You've got a good dose of salt and pepper on them. Gonna let them hang out right here on the uh, table while I go outside and fire up my old hickory pit. Um, also mixed up a quick baste, and the baste is super simple. It's two parts water to one part apple cider vinegar. They're gonna get a spray of this every 45 minutes, and we'll show you when we get that first spray. Okay, the old hickory's running about 275 today. It's perfect for these ribs. I'm just gonna get them on the rack, keep them straight as possible. So now I wanna get some wood flowing in the old hickory. Today I'm gonna be using some pecan. Now, typically at Texas Styles at Post Oak, I don't have any of that today. The next best choice is gonna be some good seasoned out pecan. It's gonna produce a really good light smoke on them, give those ribs a lot of flavor. So I've got a good base of hot coals going in the old hickory, and I add a little bit of fresh coals so it'll slow burn across, and I'm just gonna put one piece right on the hot coals and lay the rest of the pecan on back. Now I'll get a good smoke throughout the cook. So the old hickory's locked and loaded now. All I'm gonna do is let it cook at 275 degrees and do its thing. If you're cooking along with me at home, you can use any kind of cooker you want. Just hold that temperature steady at 275. Uh, we're gonna give these ribs a couple hours to smoke, and then we're gonna get them wrapped up and tenderize them. All right, it's been 45 minutes. These ribs have been rocking right along on the old hickory. Now I wanna start spritzing them with a little bit of this vinegar and water mixture I've whipped up here. Man, they got great color already. This is just 45 minutes in. We're just keeping them moist. It's gonna be real pretty. I like the way you can see that black pepper on the surface of these ribs. Close them up. Another 45 minutes will come out. Give them another spritz. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours on our salt and pepper ribs smoking on the old hickory here. I've been basting them with the spritz about every 45 minutes. And I want you to kind of see what they look like. This is as dark as I want them to get. Man, they got great color. Uh, you can see they're starting to darken up. You can still see the pepper on them. Awesome look to these ribs, but I don't want them to get any darker. So I'm gonna get them off. This is where we're gonna get them tender. We're gonna wrap them in some foil. So let's take them off the smoker. Take them inside. Get ready for phase two. Check those out. Man, beautiful color. Okay, I got a couple sheets of full tore out just long enough to wrap these ribs. We're gonna start out meat side up. I'm gonna hit them with some more of the spritz. This is all we're gonna put in the wrap is the spritz. Just want a little moisture because we still got some fat to render. Turn them over. Hit the back side with a little spritz. Now let's wrap them up. Perfect little full pouch. For some reason, your bone pokes through the full. Go ahead and do a double layer. This time we're good with one layer. All right, these ribs are ready to go back on the smoker now. You'll notice when we put them in the full, they're meat down. 
That's the way they're going back on the pit too. We're gonna to keep them meat down the rest of the cook. Fat's gonna cook down through them. We moist and tender. We need about two more hours. Still cooking at 275. They're gonna be perfect. Let's get them on the grill. Right back on the rack. You don't wanna scoot them around too much because you'll tear the full. Just get the lid closed. Let's let it cook for two. All right, it's been an hour and I always, no matter what kind of ribs I'm cooking, I wanna check them in an hour and see how they're doing. So I'm just gonna peek in this slab here. And what I'm looking for, I wanna see what membrane is left in here cooking apart and these bones popping. We're not getting it yet, so that tells me that I need some more time. We'll check them in about a half hour and see where we are. All right, I'm gonna go check them. This has been about the hour and 45 minute mark. I looked at them both um, at an hour and a half. They were coming right along. I thought they needed 15 more minutes. But I'm gonna show you right here on the grill what I'm looking for. What tells me they're done? And it's when you open them up and you can see this disintegration. That's exactly what we were looking for. Now I know these ribs are really tender now. You don't have to worry about probing them with the thermometer. It's kind of got a tail on it. I mean, you can pick, pick them up. They're still, gonna, they're still gonna be able to pick the slab up. They're not gonna break, but they're tender as they can be. So I'm gonna open them up and let some steam off out here at the grill. Then we're gonna take them in and rest them. They need about 15, 20 minutes just to hang out cool down enough to where we can cut them. They're not gonna fall apart. The best part's coming. We're gonna get to try these salt and pepper Texas style ribs. Let's get them inside. All right, we brought the ribs back inside and I took them out of that full and just let them hang out here on the board for 15 minutes. That's gonna give them enough time to tighten up a little bit. That bone's still radiating a lot of heat. So they're still plenty warm, but it's gonna help when I cut them so they don't just fall apart. But I'm telling you, I man, they, Salt and pepper, Texas style ribs, and they look gorgeous. They got that beautiful dark color that's just from that pecan smoke the old hickory put on them. So let's talk about what we did real quick before I get into them. We started with two slabs of Compart Duroc spare ribs that were St. Louis cut already, membranes were off. Seasoned them with salt and pepper. It was a two to one ratio of black pepper to salt. Got that on the outside, got them out on the old hickory pit running at 275. Uh, pecan wood for smoke. If you got post oak, hey, that's great, use that. We cooked them for three hours in the smoke at 275, basted them every 45 minutes. Half water, half apple cider vinegar. Got them wrapped in full, spritzed them both sides again, rolled it down tight, and got them back out on the pit. They went another about an hour and 45 minutes and we wanted to check them at the hour, at the hour and a half. Hour and 45, they were done. Brought them in, gave them a rest, and this is where we're at. I can't wait to cut some of these ribs and try them. Just gonna flip them over here. Use a sharp knife. So you cut right in between those bones. So let's flip them back over here. We can see what we got. Oh man, these ribs look so good. That one right there is calling my name. First, I want you to see the juice coming out of there. That moisture just like a sponge in there and squeeze it and wring it out from all that uh, marbling rendering. It's got a beautiful smoke ring from that pecan wood and I know it's gonna be a perfect bite. Now that's a Texas style rib. Salt and pepper notes, uh, just the right amount. Got a little bit of heat from that black pepper. Salt goes great with that pork flavor. That's what you wanna see in a rib. These ribs don't need any sauce. They're ready to go just like they are. Only thing you need with these ribs, some of these killer hot pickles. Just throw us a little bit of that out of the board. Got the jalapenos in there, got the spicy pickle. Mmm. That's a match if I've ever seen one right there. Hey, thanks for checking out our video today, How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna keep putting these videos out all year long. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time.